Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. This is my really nosy flock. Look at these curls. And we're gonna do a five minute chicken tip video about how to make your own chicken water drinker bucket thing. <laughs> It's really easy for you to get fresh, clean water to your chickens that they can't mess up, they can't spill it, they can't drown in it, and you are good to go. These are really, really cheap to make, and I'm gonna tell you first the supplies that we recommend. So we have two different versions, and I'll show you the difference here in just a second. But the things that you're gonna need is a food grade plastic bucket, and you can look at this a couple of different ways. There is an acronym that you can see on the bottom or actually they have it here on the lid too. So you're looking for, excuse me, I'm speaking, recycling number two. And then what you really want is HDPE. And what this means is it is a, a denser food grade level plastic. So over time, you're not gonna have, um, you know, plastic particles getting into, seeping into whatever's in the bucket. So this bucket that we just got, I think we got this at Walmart, but we found them, you know, online. You can get them at Lowe's, you can get them at Tractor Supply. This one actually has a food grade sticker on it as well. But you have to have food grade. You don't wanna use an old paint bucket or a cat litter bucket or anything like that. It has to be food grade. The other thing that we got are chicken drinkers. And there are different styles of cups, but these are the ones, um, some of them are um, the square ones that are over here. This version. I'll show you, but I actually don't like it, which is why we're making a new bucket. This is an auto fill. So the good news is that the chickens don't have to peck and peck and peck and peck. Um, it has this little thing that will automatically fill up the cup. The problem is that these are a real pain to clean out. And inevitably, look, I cleaned these two hours ago and there's already dirt and stuff in them again. So they're convenient um, in a way, but overall I don't like them because there's no way for me to clean them out. I have to spray out the whole bucket, which as you can see is a mess. See, Callie? But the good news is that this drinker will fill up immediately as soon as they drink out of it. We use a drill bit to drill in. Um, I know for these that we just bought, and I'll put the affiliate links in the comments of the video, the description. Um, these were really, really inexpensive, and it came with 12, which we didn't need, but now we have them. And the girls, as you can see, Gracie, <laughs> poor Gracie, are you confused, Grace? Um, they peck at the at this little yellow part and you can hear it as they move it and that's now opening up a way for the water to be filled up. This bucket is still empty of course. Um, if they don't tell you what kind of drill bit you need, like I said, we use 11 30 seconds for this and then sometimes they'll even have instructions that will tell you about what you need. So if you buy the drinkers and you don't know what drill bit size to use, obviously you don't want to use too big. Um, you can contact the seller and they'll let you know. You can also get them at Tractor Supply. Um, you can find them at, at other, you know, places where you would get your chicken food, stuff like that. So what we do is we fill this up. And the other tip I wanted to give you that we just kind of figured out is we added an extra hole here at the top of the bucket. Why? Because I've experimented, as you can maybe see, I've experimented with not sealing the lid completely because you don't want the water to get gross. Um, chickens don't have a great sense of taste or smell, but that's not the point. I mean, you don't want them drinking mildewy water. That's nasty. So... Um, I had not been sealing the bucket. I'd been just leaving it like that. But of course, there's going to be dust and other particles that get in. But if you seal the bucket, you make a vacuum in there, right, with the air. And then the drinkers may not respond. Water may not come out because there's a vacuum. So we did add one extra. This is just the same size drill bit. We added one hole here so that I can seal the bucket all the way around and as they're digging in there and scratching and being goofy or, you know, dust falls from the roof line right there or whatever, we know for sure that water is going to be able to get out down there and we know that this is sealed here nice and clean. Now I do spray this out and clean it on a regular basis. I would recommend when you're cleaning out the chicken bucket or you know any of your water troughs or stuff like that. Me personally I like using white vinegar because if they accidentally drink a little bit of it you know you don't rinse it out very well it's not going to hurt your birds. Um, it's not super harsh like dish soap or bleach you know you don't want your your chickens ingesting that. Um, I do have other videos that talk about, I sometimes do add water additives. You can see there's the apple cider vinegar that's right there. I have Rooster Brewster, which is like an electrolyte, sort of think like Gatorade, like a mix that you can add in. And then finally, I wanted to show you some improvements we've made this go around. If you notice, see how those drinkers are down below the bottom level of the bucket? 
We made them that way, not really intentionally, but the problem is when I bring the bucket out, if I set it flat on the ground, those things are gonna get bumped and you don't wanna crack your bucket or break any of the drinkers. So what we, we did this time is we got three, but we also, if you can see, they're now up above level, they're up higher. Finally, with this particular type of drinker, and this is the one I will put in the comments and in the description, because this is our favorite kind. My husband, when he made these, there is a way you can turn them this way to dump it out, which is what I normally do because it's quick and easy when I'm cleaning just to make sure there's no mildew, they didn't get any dirt in there or whatever. I can turn it that way and what you're doing is you're like loosening the thread, right? Like loosening a screw and then I can turn it back up to zero degrees and we're good. I just don't want to turn it the wrong way because then you'll start to strip the threading and you're putting it in too tight. Does that make sense? Now, the only thing I don't like about these drinkers that I'll show you super fast here at the end, see how they've got the little way that you can unlock it and take the cup off? That works great in concept, but the black part that I actually get to grab, and I only have one hand right now, it's really hard for you to try to grab right here and just pinch the black and then unlock that cup and take it off. So that would be more of like, I have to set this bucket on the ground and I'm disassembling the whole thing. That's not gonna be a quick and easy thing, but I can, and this is what I do, you know, like this is like farm life. I just make sure there's no mildew or anything and I dump it, clean it out, and I put it back. And then after a couple of tap, 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 it's full of water again. Your chickens will learn to peck at this. If not, I've heard people give great suggestions here on my channel. Yay, thanks guys. Of using a laser pointer to train them. Or like literally as you stand here, they'll get used to that sound. See, Lacey's like, I know what that is. So we're going to fill up this new bucket. We're going to let that one dry out and be cleaned and be used as a backup quarantine bucket. But this is a really quick, easy way for you to make your own five gallon chicken drinker. So let me know in the comments, do you guys use this for your chickens? Do you hang it? What kind of strategies do you use? And thanks so much.